galaxies. That's what we're going for tonight. Stick around as I show you what it takes to do galaxies on your own. Okay guys, welcome back. So we've looked at a number of different nebulae, but tonight we're gonna go after a lot of galaxies. Now, galaxies offer a different perspective on space. Could there be life? Could there be things there that we simply don't understand even in our own galaxy? That's why a telescope such as James Webb spent some of its first minutes of imaging getting these particular five galaxies. So we're gonna be going after a lot more galaxies tonight because we've got a much smaller telescope than the James Webb Space Telescope. The benefit with this telescope is I get a much larger field of view where I sacrifice though is the fact that we've got a sky overhead where James Webb doesn't. So I am limited to focal length with this telescope in any other telescope that I use from my backyard, whereas James Webb has a massive telescope with no limitations. We're gonna go ahead and shoot the Stevens Quintet, but more than that, we're also gonna be adding in the Deer Lick Galaxy Group. What the heck? How did a galaxy group get the name Deer Lick? We're gonna go through that in just a second. So we've talked about a broad array of different nebulae, but tonight we're gonna to be going for galaxies. Now these galaxies are incredibly far. One of them is only about 39 million light years, and yeah, that's a lot. But in the grand scheme of the entire universe, that's not much distance at all. Relatively close, that makes it almost a neighbor. We're gonna be shooting primarily the Deerlick group as well as Stevens Quintet. So let's first talk about the Deerlick group. How the heck did it get its name? From what I have found, amateur astronomer Tom Lorenzen was in North Carolina in the Deer Lick Bay area when he observed these galaxies. And that's sort of how they got their name from what I can tell. But now the little galaxies nearby, which include NGC 7335, 7336, 7337, and 7340 are now called the flea galaxies. And it's the idea that deers have fleas, right, nearby cosmic neighbors in this particular case. So it's kind of a weird combination, but it makes for a beautiful photo. And I've never done these before. I honestly wasn't too familiar with Stevens Quintet or even the Deerlick group until I saw Hubble Space Telescope photos of them matched with James Webb's brand new photos of them. So I thought, why don't I do a comparison and show you guys what NASA gets compared to what I can get from my own backyard. Now these galaxies always estimates when it comes to how far away they are. Now someone who has spent their entire life coming up with distances in space have much more information than I do. So I merely just steal from them because I don't know myself how far away they are. I just have to trust that science has led us to these distances. And now the first ones in the Deerlick group are gonna range from 294 million light years all the way up to 365 million light years. How do you even put that into perspective when one single light year is six trillion miles or just shy of six trillion miles? How do you even begin to fathom the distance that we're gonna be looking tonight? Now, a lot of people will tell you there's no way a telescope can look that far. And it's like, as long as that photon of light isn't obstructed, 
it's gonna keep going on and on and on. It's, there's no reason why I couldn't capture this. So then after we image these galaxies, we're gonna look in the same exact image, sort of to the side though, for the Stevens Quintet. Now the reason why I'm not gonna frame up Stevens Quintet as my main target is because they are small galaxies. Now I say they're small, and they are from my perspective with my telescope. They're incredibly small galaxies from our point of view. I'm gonna include Webb's photo and then show you what I got. That way you know what you could possibly get from your own backyard. So quintet obviously means five. So we're gonna be looking at five galaxies in this grouping. I will point it out. Now NGC 7320, from what I can tell, is only about 39 million light years. It is in the foreground of the quintet, is what we've found. The other galaxies that make up the quintet range from 210 to 340 million light years away. Again, it's hard to put into perspective how far away that actually is. And the fact that we can't even travel a single light year with our current technologies, there's no way you're ever gonna make it 340 million years. So I just wanna say really quickly here before it gets too much darker, because I do have to go plan the actual shoot. If you have questions or comments, leave those down below. Otherwise, clear skies, thank you for joining and take care of each other. We'll see you next time.